What's up YouTube, I'm just another guy and welcome back to the Wash Away here with Aberwisp with Town, the last time we'll be playing in Europe this season. Pretty sad thing to say but the fact we're saying it on the 12th of December is just an amazing achievement. I thought I'd be saying that well beyond August, you know, before August came around. So, massive achievement for us to get here and based upon our performance in the Porto match, I'm optimistic about this game. I mean, I don't think we're going to win, but I'm, I'm hoping we can get a, draw, get a goal at least. And that'll be something, you know, to at least do the, do the country proud. So it's going to be a team that will line up in our final Europa League match. It is Whitehouse in goal, McGuinness, Drake, Griffiths and Fraser. On the right we have Gavin Davis. Our uh, player Luke Edge is also returning to the squad. He's the right midfielder. For those of you who are kind of new to the series, eight months out he was injured for. For those of you who watched it before, of course, you, you know he was absolutely tearing the division apart for his two, you know, f full seasons in the side. And sadly picked up an 8 months injury. He's, he returned last match. He played his first ever match in the previous league match. Played, I think, 55 minutes. He's pretty tired after it, though. But he played 55 minutes. He got a goal. He got a man of match performance. And I'm looking forward to him re-entering the team. So he's on the bench. He'll probably feature at some point, despite his you know, conditioning not being too well. I just want to give him a go in Europe. Elsewhere, though, we have Simon James in midfield. Plop that to support. We have Gunter in support at midfield. Advanced player maker. And we have Carrier out on the left. And up front, we have Wynn James and David his slop. Bench wise, we have Matthew Griffiths, Sion Lloyd, Kevin Bland, Daff, I don't know if pronounce that first name, whatever, <laughs> Burrell, Edge, his slop, and Thomas. So let's go out there. Actually, I'm optimistic. I feel we have a real good chance of trying to get something out of this game. Not exactly a win, but if we can fight hard enough, if we can look good going forward, you know, get that goal, get that goal. We just, I want that goal. I mean, I wouldn't even mind a point. A point would be decent, but I want that goal so badly. So, let's uh, the assistant do it. People seem motivated, and let's go out there. So, come on, Aberwood Swift. Get a point. Make these people proud. The last time this stadium will be used for European fixture this season. Let's make it a good one. Let's make it our best one so far in the Europa League. And Gunter straight away, earning the ball back for us, and hopefully we can build up the play now and do things smartly. But no, the first highlight is to FC Twente. I guess the only positive so far is the fact that we've still got 40 oh, 39 percent possession. That's actually ticking down. Quite a few minutes go by, but we've got the ball back, and if we can pass the ball nicely here, we could cr try and create an attack. Big ball over the top, and the ball's gone through to David Hislop. David Hislop. Oh my God! Almost scoring. Well, I think it would be our first ever goal in Europa League. I think the last time we in Europe no, we have scored in Europa League, I believe. But that would have been our first goal. That's a real good opportunity. And we've had the first chance. And we're, again, we're on the attack. And it's Davis down the right. He's been tack blocked once. But he goes all back to Gunter. Gunter with a lob shot. Forced over the bar by Werner. Wow. We are starting really brightly here. It's James with the cross in. But Griffiths stuff going on. But it's gone out to James out wide. I uh, can't find Gunter. And we need to do well defensively here to counter-attack, but all the green shirts are flooded back. And McGuinness has done the right thing there. He's, he's brought the player down, knowing what he's doing. He's allowed everyone to get back and reposition up. The booking, that's a little harsh, and I didn't really want to see that so early in the game. But we're on the attack yet again. Gunter's whipped this one in. He's almost with the shot. Oh, my. I thought the spike saved it. It was going to go in the back of the net. They're still doing very well. James whipped this one in again. Not another another poor corner. If, you're not, if I see another bad corner from him. Oh, my God. I will I will stop him taking them. Oh, what a shot from Hislop. James, one more time. Bella corner this time. Still near post, though. And I don't have a aiming at the near post, so we kind of need to sort that one out. But, wow, we have started very brightly, but still not dumb, not getting as much possession as we did against Porto. But a lot more threatening going forward. A lot more threatening. Here's Twente. Maybe we'll see their first highlight and first real attack of the game after 20 minutes. Nistor, they're passing the ball around it, you know, in pretty... You know, non-sufficient role. It's not non-sufficient part of the pitch, but oh, Schappers, I think this guy's name was with the shot. And Gunter, another set piece for us. Gunter with the set piece. Ah, oh, we need to we need to take one. Come on, take a set piece. Gunter with another set piece. He's hit the crossbar, and when James has been tackled, that looked like a tackle from behind. Surely that's a penalty. We've got the corner. Come on, James, good delivery in. Looking for the near post. Gunter with the header and. Fantastic save by Werner. We should be ahead. We've had a lot of opportunities, a lot of decent ones. Not only clear cut, but a lot of decent ones. Actually, how many half chances have we had? We've had one half chance. I thought we'd have a few more than that. But now Twente are on the attack. Ramirez picking the ball up. Oh no, he's beating a defender. Lucky for us, Aura had a bad shot. 
Or, sorry, not Aura. Or. He's going to pick up the ball again, throw it in, and pass Brian on the left. Whip this one in. Ramirez with the header. Back to Schappers. Oh, the block shot almost bounced off the guy's face and went in the goal. And actually, I want to check something. I, wouldn't, I didn't actually pay too much attention to this, but if Tw do Twente have to win and hope results go their way and they'll still progress through? Um, I don't actually think it makes a difference. I think they lost both their games to, to Porto. So this is a nothing game for them. So come on, I, we, we can get a point here. We look, it's looking promising so far. 30 minutes gone, and I'd say out of the two teams most likely to score, despite their dominance in possession, we've had dangerous chances, but we need to be taking them soon. Otherwise, we will regret that. It's as simple as that. We will regret these chances. James not having the best of games. Neither is Simon James. Simon James actually picked up an injury. So, Barrel is going to come on. Who is our set piece man for today? So. Uh, since these guys ain't playing, sorry guys, sorry about that guys, I had to sneeze, Ugh. but if we pop these guys out that aren't on the pitch and aren't on the bench, so Bland, who's on the bench, would be taking our free kick, so it's going to be Burrell that comes on actually, hopefully he can create a, good, a few good corner opportunities, but he's going to come on, James Burrell and Gunter all entering the youth team at the same time, or entering the first team at the same time, although I've always gone with James and Gunther, although Burrell's report recently has increased and his stats have improved a little bit sharper than James's, so he may be entering the first team a little bit more, but looks like this half time and it's gonna end nil nil, so I mean end of the first half is gonna be nil nil, so Hmm. I think we've been going well, I'm gonna say this to them. Uh say this assertively. I'm pleased with your performance so far, keep going, and there you go, they all obviously they know they're gonna they're gonna play playing well. They've got Five shots in the game, four shots on target, we've matched their shots on target. Okay, the, we haven't had much of the ball as I would like, but we play counter, we we accept we're not going to get the ball. But the thing is, we've taken a few opportunities, but not to the extent where we found the back of the net. We're popping shots at the keeper, we're testing him out, but we need to really trouble him. So Skeppers out on the right. Come on, stop this one, Fraser, he doesn't do enough. Vanderberg, Nistor, back to Muren. Schappers, good save by White House, firmly behind that. Oh, come on. Oh, I was hoping we'd build up a highlight. I'm thinking double sub at 60th minute. Striker win James off the field, bring on Eddie Hislop. And, yeah, we're going to make the change now. Bring off Carrier, bring on Edge. Take off James, bring on David Hiss, Eddie Hislop and play the Hislop brothers up front. For the first time in this European campaign, I believe. So Eddie Hislop's going to take this set piece, whips this one in. Straight at Werner, that's not good enough. And he's going to try and build up play with a throw. Schappers is just easily getting past our team. Ramirez now gets the ball through and oh, it's oh so simple for 20. Bob Schappers with the goal that makes us 1-0 down. You know, the defender's been dragged out of position by Ramirez. Well, good good attacking play by Ramirez. Skeppers with a good run. Isn't followed by Fraser. And in the end, I said, again, a simple goal. Them opportunities, we're, we're going to be regretting them now. All right, so for the last five minutes, we'll actually, we'll let this highlight, see what happens. Actually, no, we'll just go attacking now. And then we'll, we'll throw caution to the wind. We'll try and get a point. But it looks like we're going to end all six games with zero points and six defeats. It's, yep, Vanderberg. The fullback has come forward and somehow found the ball in the back of the net. You know, his original shot was blocked. Should have, that should have been it. That should have been an attack clear. But no, we allow him to sprint past us and smash that one home. Keeper probably should have done a little bit better as well. It was right at him. His body was there. He just couldn't get behind it. So 2-0, despite the fact we've looked quite good in this game. That's quite poor. Quite a disappointing thing to take. But here's Gavin Davis on the right. Whips this one in, finds David Hislop. Sadly can't pull the trigger and get the shot away, but we're going to take the corner now. Burrell whips this one in. Straight at Werner. Come on, these corners have been appalling in Europe. What is wrong with us? And now, with 40 seconds remaining, I I'd, I'd highly doubt we're going to get in goal. If anything, we probably will concede again. It's Van der Berg with the shot. It may not be the same Van der Berg that I saw playing fullback, considering how far forward he's got in his past few minutes. But yeah, this game is over for 20 seconds remaining now. Drake clearing the ball out of play. Something he probably should have done a little bit earlier. And he, we might find ourselves not losing 2-0. So there we go. It is all over. 2-0 defeat. 
but we're going to hold our, hold our head high, you know, shoulders back, head high. We have done, you know, an amazing thing to get to this stage. Uh, we're we'll going to assist to this team talk. I don't want to, you know, make them annoy them in any way, shape or form. So we finished rock bottom, 11 points for Twente, 11 points for Porto, 12 points for Wolfsburg. End of the day, we just couldn't compete with these guys. You know, we're a semi-pro team. And we've been put on a, you know, in a massive stage in a, you know, probably one of the best competitions in the world in Europa League. And we just, we just couldn't, you know, match the occasion. 4-0 to Porto, 2-0 Twente, with a late penalty in that game. 1-0 Wolfsburg, 4-0 Wolfsburg, 4-0 Porto, and then 2-0 Twente. So, conceding 17 goals, 6 defeats, but still we're the first ever Welsh Premier League side to get into the Europa League. That is a massive thing in itself. Next season, we'll be looking to improve in any, whatever way we can. Whether that is just getting to this stage again, you know, getting to any group stage is going to be a, a massive, a massive achievement because we were pretty lucky to get here in the first place this year. But this is it for our European campaign. And the next time I see you back will be the midpoint of the season, which is about four league games time, I believe. So, until then, guys, peace out.